If you ever need to process many actions all at once, whether they be transactions, adding to the vault, or adding recurring subscriptions, you can do that through the batch upload feature. This feature allows you to enter all of the information for these actions into a file, whether it be a CSV, an Excel, or a text file, and upload those to the gateway to run many actions all at once. You can do this for one transaction, or you can do it for many thousands. To get started, we're going to go to an Excel document that I've created. So this file has 10 actions that I want to take. There's five sales and five auths. Up at the top, I have a header row where I indicate what each column represents. Transaction type, amount, card number, etc. And how batch upload works is it'll take each row and run an action based on what you tell it to do. So for example, row 4 is a sale for $3 using this card number and this customer's information. And it'll go down the list and do that for everyone. I can do other transaction types as well as add to the vault and add recurring. But for this example, we're just going to do sales and authorizations on credit cards. Here's how I would do the same thing with a CSV file. And so once the file is ready to go, I can upload it into the batch upload interface. I just click choose file, and then upload the file that I want. I'm going to auto detect the file format, and I can use a selected format if I'd like. I'm not going to do this yet, but we'll get back to this, and upload batch. Now there's one more step I have to do. The system will pull the headers from each column and show them right here. So I have the transaction type, amount, credit card number, that's the same as what was in the file. Then I just need to go through this dropdown, which is rather large, it has everything that you can match up with, and tell it what each column indicates. Okay, so now that I've entered all of these, I can choose to save this format for future use. This is helpful if I upload the same file format every month or on a regular basis. In that case, I won't have to enter these every single time. On that last page, I can hit the Use Selected Format. It will auto-name these for me. I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to hit Next and upload the file. So you can see the progress running. And there we go. It's done already. In this case, I have 10 approved transactions, 0 declined, 1 error, and 11 total actions were taken. If I want to see what transactions resulted from this upload, I can click on the file name. And here they are. We have 5 sales and 5 pending capture card authorizations. And if I go back a page, I can see the batch example file is here. I had another batch example with 11 errors, but this is the one we just ran with the 10 approved and one error. A quick note on this one error, that would be because every row is run as an action, even the header row. The header row was run and it didn't have any valid transaction data in it, so that returned an error, but the 10 sales and authorizations all approved. We also generate a response file, and that can be downloaded here. This returns all. This returns 11 rows as well in a CSV format. This is opened in Excel though, and it shows you what happened in each row. These 10 right here are all the sales and offs that I ran, and this first one is that error. It's that first header row, and it shows you the response in column C in the third one, invalid transaction type. So it ran into an error, but that's expected.